Hey, folks, this is Vincent Salzilla from Double Exposure. I'm here once again with Frank and Dan DiLorenzo from r r Games. And tonight, the three of us are going to be playing their latest game, Mystic Paths. This is not in print yet, but they have a virtual version set up for everybody to take a look at and get excited about because this game should be making a lot of tracks in the industry. We, it's been in development for a long time. Frank's going to be telling us all about it. Frank, tell us about this game. All right. Um, can we get a shot of the, uh, the box cover? Let's use an epic voice for an epic game. <laughs> now, Mystic Paths is a map format board game in which you must surpass challenges in order to move forward and reach your goal. But be warned, time is limited and you must work together. In this world, you must rely on your allies to clear the path ahead. Strategy prevails, cooperation is necessary, and communication is everything. Now, let's get back to normal and describe the gameplay. And it's only 10 steps, so how hard can it be, right? Well, uh, each step is guarded by a, uh, a ward or a spell, and in order to break it, you have to uh, be able to figure out what word that is. The problem is you can never do your own. You always have to basically give information to the other apprentices, and they have to help you figure out what the word is, even though you know which way it is. You just can't speak it until they tell you that word. So and this is a whole game about clue giving where I'm going to try and clue you in onto my path and you're going to try and guess it correctly, but we have limited time. We only have five rounds in this game. It's a fairly quick game and uh, each round you're going to basically have three chances to guess on my path, but the second you make a mistake, your turn is over. So you got to be very careful. Um, the game plays uh, in the basic game as a cooperative game, and uh, we all are going to have our own path, and we're all going to help each other try and get the highest possible score that we can get. Um, if you achieve uh, the 10 steps uh, in the fourth or fifth round, you actually get a, a special trophy in the game, which is worth more points. Um, the individual one, uh, you're playing basically against everyone else. And in the team one, there are teams of two players that basically are racing to get the highest score. So uh, you can see now, you've seen the cover. Can, are we looking at the board yet? Can we look at the board? Okay. We'll switch over to the board. And you can see this is basically the eternal forest here. And we have our, our apprentice figurines uh, around the outer edge. And the three-player ones are, are actually situated on a... Uh, the starting word for them. And those are basically where their path starts. So you know, like for example, as the black player, I'm starting on the word frozen dinner. So my choices will be on the path to candy corn, to Nikola Tesla or to anteater. Very strange spell incantations we have in this game. Uh, yellow player has a path that leads either to the anteater, the George Washington or air conditioned shoes. And the red player up in the corner starts uh, with a path that could lead to April Fool's Day, money, and social media. But how do you know what this path is? Well, everyone starts by getting one of these cards. And this is a map card. This shows you your path. So I'm going to just straighten that out for you. As you can see here, this is basically uh, where the star is, is the space that my, my player piece is on. And if I was the black, if I am the black player, so if I had this card, uh, number one step leads me to candy corn. And the very next step is going to lead me to Nikola's Tesla. And then the third step would actually lead me to Anteater and so on and so forth. So I'm going to try and follow this path by getting people to guess my path. Okay. And each player has their own map, so everyone's different. They may cross each other, they may interfere with each other, but the only thing you know for sure is that wherever my character's base is, because we have a separate base for each character, 
that base shows where I came from and where I land is where I'm going from. So we know if I'm on Nikola's Tesla, I cannot go back to frozen dinner. I can never retrace my last step. But it is possible that I might go to Candy Corn and then back to frozen dinner because my base follows me. So that's the basics of this game, except you don't know how to give a clue. So in this game, we have these uh, clue cards. Uh, in the example that we're giving, they're individual cards. But in the actual game, they're double cards. So you actually have two words, and the top one is one way and the bottom one is upside down. And you have to choose which one you're going to use for your clue. So it actually becomes quite strategic because you might have to use a word that kills another word that you wanted. Uh, this could happen, but it's not going to happen in this game because we actually only have room for single cards here. So we're using single cards. And each one of these is going to be placed on the step to give a clue. For example, like this. So my first can my candy corn might be my clue might be delicious. And if uh, you know they look at this and say, well, Nikola Tesla, definitely not delicious. An anteater, maybe, but I think candy corn is the answer. They're gonna choose candy corn, they're gonna pick it. As soon as they touch this, that's it. They've made their guess. And what's gonna happen is I will tell them, yes, you're correct and move, or I'll say no, it's incorrect, and they have to stop their turn. So they could literally get stopped on the very first guess. Um, however, the next turn comes along, they're going to add another clue to it and a clue to here and a clue to here. So more clues come out for each one to help you along, um, speed you along your way. Anyway, okay, so we've covered the basics of the game. I, I just want to interject here, Frank, yeah. that uh, one of the strategies in the game is to look ahead at the next two clues because that will help you choose the first clue if you see a definite path with clues that make sense for the path. That is correct, yes. You definitely want to look ahead to see because if, you, if you're confused about, well, was the anteater delicious or the candy corn delicious? But then you see exciting and over here you've got roller coaster and I don't know if a giraffe is exciting as a roller coaster or George Washington, probably not. So it that depends kind of, on who you are, but you know. That leads you in this direction if you were questioning that candy corn versus anteater was delicious. I don't know why, but you might. Anyway, so... Um, we can actually start the game, and uh, let's get into it and start playing. Well, let me uh, let me just tell the audience what we're looking at from the logistics of the board here. Um, if you look, the screen that you're looking at is a spectator screen. So in other words, nobody from the audience can see what we're specifically looking at, but we all have our screen. So when we drag those map cards down to uh, that white area on the bottom, we're going to be able to see them, but they're going to be hidden from everybody else, including the other players. So, uh, and the same thing for the cards that we have, the clue cards that we have to choose from. When we put the clue cards above the white bar, then they become visible to uh, the players and to the audience. Vinny, you need to take your cards. Yeah. I've dealt one mm -hmm. map card at random out to each player. Uh, Vinny, you need to take your card. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay, so now we all have our card. We know our, our general path that we're following, and we're going to now start the round. This is a game that we've worked on a long time. Um, we wanted to get a theme that made sense for the game, so we tried a lot of different themes. We did um, a lot of work, an incredible amount of work, to balance the words and the word clues so that they were challenging but not impossible. And uh, it's been you to, what's Frank, that? you need to make a comment about uh, if you don't want the word, you have the X's to say well, it's that's, not. That's true, yes. Basically, if you have a, a word clue like this and you don't want mysterious, but instead you want not mysterious, you just put an X on there. The X means not. Uh, Nick Walzer from the audience is saying candy corn is yucky, not delicious. Just so we <laughs> well, exactly. He may he may argue for <laughs> not being the path because it's impossible that anyone would think it's delicious. So. Well, wait a minute. What if you want to be a Dracula? Then candy corn can come in handy. You know that you make a good point there, Dan. Of course I do. It's delicious. Uh, Audience members, remember, you're part of this uh, whole thing. So if you want to make comments on the board. Absolutely, because we may need help. So, <laughs> All 
All right, so we've, we've got our cards. We're dealt out our, our cards. Uh, we all have a hand of these clues, and we're going to simultaneously put out our clues for the very first three steps of our path. And this is round one. Wow. Tough words here. Really tough. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be going very far in my very first word here. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely looking very interesting. Really? Yeah, I've got some seriously tough words. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's going to get interesting. Oh, man. Wow. I will point out that I chose a, a very challenging set of words for us on this play, on the first play. Because uh, we are very experienced at this game, so we wanted to give ourselves a challenge. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Love this. <laughs> definitely a serious challenge. Wow. Oh, God, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Vinny has yes, all not. Yeah, I have two dots. Yeah. All right, so who are we going to start with? Shall we start on Dan's? Yep, either way. Okay, right, let's we'll, start with Dan. Let's start with Dan. So we're going to start with Dan. His first step is imaginary. This so is as a reminder, person, Dan. as a reminder, I cannot say anything until they click on one of the discs. Right. Like if we choose, like for example, this, he would stop and say, "Okay, that's either right or wrong by the movement of his piece." Now, Frank, are we working together? I don't yeah, remember. We are all, this is the cooperative okay. game. So we're all working together to get the highest possible score. Okay. If we can't score at least 30 points. We're terrible. All right. All right imagine. Um, I can make a good argument for April Fool's Day. <laughs> really? You can't make an argument for social media or money? It's tough. It's <laughs> tough. I'm tending towards April Fool's Day, but you're what right. Moist. Moist could lead you to spam. I, see I don't it. see anything from social media that could be moist. Right. And money could also go to spam, but I, I think you might be right. I think yeah. it's the safest bet. It's April Fool's Day. All right. We're going to click it. That's correct. All right. So yeah. he's going to move his piece on to April Fool's Day. So we know it can't go back to banana split because his base is still there. So we know the next three moist. Like, it, it's got to be spam. Yeah, it's got to be spam. All right. We'll do spam. That is correct. Moving him into spam. All right. Now his base follows him. And not welcoming. Not welcoming. <laughs> oh, we have five choices. <laughs> five choices here. Wow. Not welcoming. That's a tough one. The only thing I can come up with which sounds remotely like it is Terracotta Warriors. I'm okay with a guess on Terracotta Warriors because, I mean... <sighs> It's a stretch for me on any of the other ones as being not welcoming, whereas Terracotta War is the only thing that's like a person. So I, I, I could go with that. And they're violent. All right, go for it. No, they're no. violent. Oh, they're, they're, no. we're gonna they're made them. out of clay. They're made out of terracotta. Right. How violent can they get? So we're gonna take <laughs> Dan's going to put an X on there. So we know that next round... When a second clue is put on not welcoming, the terracotta warriors is not possible. Right. So we've eliminated two of the possible six here around spam. So let me just say something here. Here's what's interesting about this game. You have to remember, I have a limited amount of clues, and that was my best option. Right. <laughs> and yeah. had they not rushed to a con conclusion so quickly, they probably would have had the right one. But they were... Well, we also right. needed a couple of clues ahead of it to, to kind of figure it out. Yeah, but okay. it was, right. That was a really tough one. We're, it, we're, you know, we're, we kind of rush to judgment sometimes, Dan. Yeah, you have to expect it. All, All right. right. Up to me. All so right. Not, yeah, not, not weak. weak. And where are you? You're here. 
Right. I would say George Washington wasn't weak. And I don't think an anteater is weak. It kills lots of ants. Oh, kills lots of ants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's calm, not calm. That would be electricity. That could be, yeah. What's well, not mild? Terracotta Warriors? Mm. I don't know. I don't know if Vinny's ever eaten spam because that's pretty mild. I think I had a spam experience when I was like 10. I, I'm okay with George Washington if you want to go with George Washington. Well, our chant, our options are air conditioned shoes, What's George that? Washington, and Ant Eater. It's either Ant Eater or George Washington, but I don't yeah. see Frozen Dinner or Nikola Tesla as a possibility for calm. So I but you could go George Washington and not calm could be an anteater. Yeah, that's possible. So I agree for George Washington for the first clue. That's correct. Okay. Now we have air conditioned shoes. <laughs> that's out. <laughs> electricity could not be calm. Uh, I, paper, I feel strongly that it is electricity. You, you what? I feel strongly it's electricity because I, I don't think frozen dinner is not mild it is mild i mean it's a frozen dinner it's just frozen dinner i agree i think it's electricity all right Ready? correct okay now here's oh. where we're going to go sideways not mild not mild i mean it's clowns mild. are scary and they scare people they can be considered terrifying for certain people the terracotta warriors or clowns? again they're terracotta they're warriors. What are your themes for the whole thing, Dan? <laughs> There's an army of these warriors. I mean, buried in the ground, discovered by, <laughs> by people years ago. Okay, imagine you're a Tomb Raider and you open the door and there's all these people. That's frightening. <laughs> it is. I don't see it as frightening. You're thinking that clowns are not mild. Okay, wait a minute. What does mild mean to you? Because this is not mild. Right. Mild is calm, you know, boring, uneventful. That's spam. You're talking spam is all I hear. Yeah, but that would be mild. This is not mild. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it can't be paper. It's either clowns or terracotta warriors. I don't think air conditioned yep. shoes have anything to do with mild. Maybe mold, but not mild. Mm. All right. I'll go with terracotta warriors. Really? Over clowns? I thought you wanted Terracotta Warriors. I think it is Terracotta Warriors. You want to do it? I don't think it's... I mean, Let's I see if we can get two X's on Terracotta Warriors. Here we go. Wrong. We got two X's. That's awesome. <laughs> I dropped the other one right behind it. <laughs> so, Vinny, right. you got to keep your X's and then put number of clues one and two back in the discard over here, which is... I'll do it for you. This is the discard. All right, so you're up to me with not deadly. All right, so candy corn is not deadly. Nikola Tesla is definitely deadly. An anteater, according to you guys, oh, it's so vicious. Um, I would say candy corn because swollen could be bubble wrap. Nikola Tesla's ego could be swollen. But I would say bubble I... wrap would be a good one for that. And then if we go to there, you go to not balanced, it would be money. Or roller coaster could be right, not balanced. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm contesting the not deadly. I, I would actually say anteater is not deadly. I mean, we're talking about two humans. Okay. So then what would be swollen <laughs> after that? <laughs> well. Uh... Supposing you were correct. George Washington. I, I, this kept is Frank, of course. So. <laughs> Giraffe, not swollen unless they've had a bad drug cocktail. And then Nikola Tesla, I don't know. They... I see. I would go anteater, giraffe, air conditioned shoes. For not balanced? Yeah, that's the only thing I can come up with that works with the clues, with the clues he put out. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. We know that candy corn, while maybe not everyone's favorite, is certainly not deadly. Right. And then it's swollen. It's, it's got bubbles in it, right? Okay. And then not balanced, people have problems balancing with money. 
Uh, Nick Walzer says Martha was hot. She was. She was hot. Yeah. But only <laughs> after George died, I think. So I'm sorry, what were you saying not balanced would be? Money. You can't balance a lot of people have problems. Uh, social media isn't balanced either. Hmm. For that matter, I can argue that a roller coaster is not balanced. Yeah, no, I, I could see that. All right, so you're saying that you want not deadly to be candy corn? Well, our three choices are Nikola Tesla, Anteater, and candy corn. Well, either candy corn or Nikola Tesla gets us up to bubble wrap and money, so. I don't know, it's a tough choice. I, I, I'd flip you for it if we were in person. So you wanna go with Anteater? I, I would go with Anteater, but you're right. The following clues are, are not, not a perfect match. Yeah. Bubble wrap makes a lot more sense for Swollen. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go candy corn. All right, that sounds good. All right, candy corn, Frank. Oh my God! When is an ant eater deadly? When it's eating ants, it's killing all the ants. But he's not deadly to humans. And who said humans? It's just not deadly. Just touch bubble wrap and shut him up, Dan. Would you? <laughs> up bubble wrap. Ding. <laughs> all right, so let's think about this. Uh, okay, I have a strong argument for money because a lot of people struggle to balance it. Right. But social media could also be talking how much political strife there is and how the coverage isn't balanced and things like that. I agree. So either one of those, for me, I could accept. I'm going to tend towards money because it's just a more straight out clue. What do you think? Do you ever say, hey, my checking account is balanced? Nobody says that anymore, you know? Well, I don't no. bother. I just, you know, hope. I just... I just kind of think we should go with social media. Remember, it's not balanced. Right. When have you seen anything balanced in social media? No, but, but you were making the argument about money. I'm saying that given that nobody's- No, I agree. I agree. I, I can argue both of them comfortably. You also are saying it should be roller coaster. I actually, I, I can well, see- We got, we, got, uh, we got another vote for roller coaster. GK Frost 9 is saying roller coaster too. Maybe we're both wrong. Um, I think we should listen to the audience. I say, let's, right. go, let's go roller coaster. We're going to listen to the audience. Go ahead. Touch roller coaster. All right. Roller coaster. Ah, who listens to the audience anymore? <laughs> oh, you got, you got uh, two, right? So that's good. Yeah. I think we all got, God, you got candy corn, two. my goodness. All right, so uh, Dan, you need to get new cards. Well, we all get dealt three more. Oh, cards. right, right. Okay. Don't worry about the new cards yet. Just worry about make sure that you've got your setup. Yeah, I'm all set up. Yeah, because I'll give you new cards in a second here, as soon as I'm set. All right, so has everyone got their three, four, five? We do. So we're going to go to the next round, too. And now you have a full hand of, of cards again. And so, we all place them together? Yeah, we all just start okay. placing them. So you're gonna put a second clue next to your mild, Vinny. Right. Seriously. <clears throat> I literally could be stuck here for the entire game. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. If we can get past number three, I think I'm good. Done. I am not done. Yeah, I'm stuck on my last word. It's pathetic. <laughs> oh my gosh. GK Frost and I are saying, don't listen to us, do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, consider it done. 
Oh my goodness. This is such a tough clue. <laughs> my words are just terrible. I'm glad you set up the expert board for us, Frank. Yeah, it's giving us a challenge, that's for sure. Now, do we continue in turn order? It, yeah. it doesn't really matter in the cooperative. We can pick whoever we want to start okay. with. Doesn't, we can switch switch to you next. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's a free for all. Sure. All right, it looks like you're both done. No, no. All right, there, I'm done. Oh, OK, right. All right, so you want to go first, Vinny? OK, I'm ready. All right, all right so we have elaborate and not mild. Wait a minute. So for, he's from electricity. So yeah. not mild and elaborate. And yeah. terracotta warriors is okay. not a choice. Bam is not elaborate. And I don't think paper is elaborate, but could be. No, I don't think so. I think, Just, I think air conditioning. clear, shoes. elaborate does not have a not token on it. I know. Okay. Air, air conditioned shoes are elaborate and clowns could be elaborate. But why are they not mild? Well, maybe you're thinking temperature, mild temperature. No, they're cold. Air conditioned shoes are cold. Let's look at ugly. Oh, maybe clowns are ugly. Maybe terracotta warriors are ugly. No, because then what's delicious? So it could be George giraffe, Washington. Giraffe. If you've ever had giraffe, it is delicious. There's a not token on delicious, just to point out. Oh, it's not. It's terrible. <laughs> the worst meat you've ever had. I'm telling you, stringy and long. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so it's elaborate and not mild well george washington was known to be cruel so he and we can't go there because that's where he came from oh oh that's <laughs> right. the only one that we can't go to oh, oh well we can't go to terracotta warriors either right so it's either spam paper clowns or air-conditioned shoes yeah so if we go to clowns what's ugly then the terracotta warriors and then spam is not delicious because he hates spam I could see that. Let me just check all the others. Elaborate and not mild. And if it isn't that, then we know we're going to air-conditioned shoes. Well, wait a minute. What about air-conditioned shoes are elaborate and not mild because they keep your feet cool? And giraffes? I mean, it's a, it's a toss-up on this one. I mean, it, it could be the air-conditioned shoes, but it could easily. And, Andy says clowns swear too much to be mild, obviously. Uh, Nick Walter says giraffe tastes better than candy corn. Yeah. Maybe then why it depends on how well they've been roasted. <laughs> I, I don't like candy corn. He won. I mean, you know, clowns could be ugly to him. Terracotta warriors could be ugly. But the best thing for not delicious in this whole thing is spam. Because I know he hates spam. Nick Walter says, yeah, easy to overcook giraffe. <laughs> I, think I, mean, I, I, I think that's a stretch. You're, you're saying go clowns? Well, only if you take mild as being like, not mild could be frantic. Clowns are frantic. OK. Why and are they elaborate? elaborately? They're elaborately dressed up, elaborately, you know, they do lots of tricks. Did you say Labrador? They do a clown car. That's pretty so that clown dog there. <laughs> I heard Labrady. They're la 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 um, God, that's a stretch. Elaborate and not mild. I mean, okay. So if you're looking at air conditioned shoes, then where you can't go to clowns for ugly because you're not going to get not delicious from these two. That means that's going to leave you to giraffe. And who knows? Does he really think a giraffe is not delicious? No, it would be ugly. The giraffe would be ugly for him. And then so the not delicious is an anti. Well, why couldn't George Washington be ugly at that point? Either way, you're leading to anteater for not delicious. And who's to say anteater isn't a delicacy? Andy well, says clowns are intense. That's what they are. That's not mild. OK, all right. I'll go with clowns. Correct. Yay. Oh, thank God for that one. I think air conditioned shoes are ugly. You just want to get the giraffe being not delicious, but I guarantee you he loved the fact that spam was oh, there. Hold on, we have some housekeeping to do. 
I now uh, have to remove the X from Terracotta Warriors. That is correct. Not the red X. Yeah, that's my X. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oop. I got it. You got it. All right, so we're at Ugly. Um, he, he's got to be going Terracotta Warriors and Spam. This is a no-brainer here. I think Vinny likes Spam. I was right about clowns, I will point out. Okay, so even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. All right, well, let's test that theory and go to Terracotta Warriors. <sighs> okay, all right, Terracotta Warriors. Ding! Aha! That, is that good? Is that yeah. true? That is good. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we have to go to spam. Yeah. Go for the trifecta? Say, yeah, I'd say spam. Ding, 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 ding. Nice. There's my, hey, there's my loot, my uh, thing I was missing. No, that's. Yeah, that's the one I was missing. Is, is it really? Yes. I remember you I was looking under them? It was under oh, there. I looked underneath here. I did. Actually, I did not look under spam. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're all on, on spam there. Okay, so. A lot of spam, okay. Okay, now it's Frank's. Okay. And Frank? Frank is on I, I'm cleaning ground. up all of my clues right now. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then, you know, to help you, we can do this too. This would be six. Yep. And this all goes, oops. Seven. This all goes uh, let me do that while you guys think. How about that? That's a good idea. There you go. Wait. Am I supposed to be thinking? Yeah. Where are we? We're, we're on Frank now. Yeah. I Somewhere I around bubble candy. wrap, but it isn't roller coaster. All right. Not balanced. I, I'm still okay. So let's assume that not balanced and well, wait, wait, wait. The, social the media. The second clue is political. Yeah. So I think Frank actually responded to our discussion by putting political there and made it, and that obviously is now social media. Okay. And then generous would probably be money. Right. And then not brilliant, April Fool's Day. I would say paper is not brilliant. Well, let's go to the first two first. I think All it's right, no. So Frank, social media. Ding. Ding. Okay, that was the easy part. Not yeah. brilliant. So, All right, so I guess not... knowing Frank, I'm thinking that the April Fool is what he's pointing out is not brilliant. That, well, that's not I, the, don't you think he's not a fan of spam? Frank just ate spam for the first time in his life. I get that, but I think he would have, I think he would have, oh, excuse me. Wait, wait, did he, he actually said he liked it, by the way. He fried it up and he said he liked it. Okay, just uh, some comments. Uh, Andy says, Vinny likes liverwurst, but I don't know about spam. Oh God, it's, Spam is way better than liverwurst. And then he says, suddenly this game is moving along. That's like five guesses in a row. Yeah, that, those are the spurts of the game. That's, that's how it works. It does work that way. All right, so not brilliant. Uh, Frank enjoyed spam, so I can't go there. Right. I'm thinking that he would have chosen a different word than brilliant if he wanted to go to spam. But why do you think April Fool's Day? I mean, we've had some amazing April Fool's Day. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of how much time Frank spent trying to figure out which clue to pick for the third clue. And I'm thinking that Brilliant was the only one he can come up with that could even begin to describe April Fool's Day. But it's not Brilliant. And if Frank likes a good April Fool's gag, he'd be like, oh my God, that was Brilliant by Joe. I'm taking the abstract that it's April Fool, which is not, and a fool is not Brilliant. That, that's where I'm going. Oh my God, Vinny, have you been drinking tonight? I, I have not. You probably should. <laughs> um, I mean, paper's not brilliant. Unless All right, audience, we need some help here. What do you think? I think we get some help from the audience. So we're currently on money and it could be banana split, April Fool's Day, spam, paper, or bubble wrap. Uh, Nick is agreeing with me. He yeah. Cool. And Nick wanted roller coaster. Like, we're going to listen to Nick. And Andy says paper is definitely the least brilliant. I agree. And who's producing this Twitch thing? This is Andy. Well, yeah, but. Uh, you know, All right, we already caved into on. Nick, and Nick was, he wasn't really reliable. Okay. Nick has already been hitting the sauce since seven eight. Seven, All right, Dan, I will I will uh, concede to. You. Oh wait, wait, we got one more vote. GK Frost nine says fool. Oh God, 
Now they both chose roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. We're going with paper. All right. Paper. Eh. Idiots, why did you listen to me? You know, paper has brilliance. Literally written on the ream of paper. Yeah. 98 Dan, brilliance. Dan, while Frank and I are discussing your stuff, if you can clean up Frank's area. Yeah. I'm all set. I'm all set. Okay. I'm all done. I'm good. No, you're not. Yeah, you don't have to touch anything here. I'm good. You're not even focusing. Try to win the game here. Focus. <laughs> all right. Where are we? Um... Oh, I have to guess for Dan. I forgot. <laughs> all right. So, so we're on red. Spam. Unwelcoming and cruel. Well, wow, that would have been Terracotta Warriors, but it's a big red X on it. Um, all right, so it can't be April Fool's Day because his token is there. Right. Wow. Welcoming is electricity. Is electricity cruel? George all right, then accomplished could be George Washington. Yeah, but it could be Nicholas Tesla. Not nocturnal could be either giraffe or anteater. Anteaters are nocturnal. Are they? I have no idea. Like I, like oh, I. Mean, thank I you for that. you said it with the voice of authority. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'm, I'm, every time you see a giraffe, it's in the daytime. So yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to say electricity. George Washington giraffe. Wow, I'm willing to try electricity for that. Correct. Yay. All right. Now All right. you're saying George Washington is accomplished. Yep. Well, so are air-conditioned shoes. Get out of here. I'm touching nor George Washington. Oh, my God. He's touching. He's, he did. Yeah, George Washington. Thank God. You okay. sit there debating for the next five minutes, Frank. It's got to be giraffe. It's got to be giraffe. Your turn. Correct. All right. Swing Correct. him down. Perfect. All right. All right. I'm set up with six, seven, eight. Is this word elaborate? Was that uh, that was a discard, right? Yeah, all of those are just the only yeah. one that's out is brilliant, not brilliant. All right, so I should have six, seven, and eight. So what do I have here? Oops, I got six. Round three, ding, ding, ding. We're actually doing pretty good for only having two. One rounds. of the really the things I really like about the way this game is laid out is that it's so easy to match up exactly what's happening. The numbers all match concisely. You don't have to guess at what you're doing. You look at your map card immediately and figure out which number corresponds. Very well done. Thank you. It was uh, quite a bit of labor to get it to that point. We tried many different ways to do the map cards and as recently as a month ago, changed it to, to make it even clearer. And the board was really tricky to make. This is a three-piece board, actually. It's a jigsaw board. So it comes in three pieces. You lock it together. But those holes in the center are where you drop the spell tokens. And, and there the are over 100 uh, spell yeah. tokens to and use. they're double-sided, yeah. Yeah, so we, there's a lot of replayability in this game. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm stuck again on that. I have the best clue. If you guys blow this, I quit. <laughs> How can I have such bad words? Ugh. Well, I have some great words. So I just have to get to the first one, though. This is tricky. I could put any word in six and it won't matter. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Okay, ready? Ready. I'm really not ready. <laughs> <laughs> My I'll goodness. be claiming the gold token. The gold token goes to somebody if they get through all of their clues. In, in, in the fourth, four. only in the fourth round. In right. Round four, if you achieve ten, your tenth step, you get the gold. Okay. If you achieve it in round five, you get the silver. Right. So it just oh. adds points to your score. 
and can break ties. So in a three-player game like this, yeah. even though we're being cooperative about it, you can actually come up with a semi-winner who's done the best to give clues to yeah, If you game. like, yes. Have you ever researched the uh, definition of cooperative? MVP, MVP. <laughs> semi-winner. Hey, well, we all did good, but oh I did better than you guys. God. That's the one that gets the tractor trailer. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I just realized I'm, I'm in a big... Uh, Andy's asking how many clues does everyone start with? We all start with nine clue cards. No, oh, eight, eight. eight. Excuse me, eight clue cards, right. Eight clue cards and one map card. And in the actual game, you're only going to get four cards because each card has two clues on it. Right. I, I'm, I'm looking here and, you know, Dan, I'm thinking that Frank is the low point of our partnership. Here. I have the worst I, word. I would agree. I have the <laughs> absolute <laughs> worst words. They are absolutely terrible. I could put, like I said, I could put, I could put anything in six because when you see the other words, if you guys don't get it, I, I just, I'll be shocked. I, I guess I'm going to go with that. All right. So you're starting on me, I guess. Yep. All right, so where is Frank? He's at money. So it's not brilliant and not majestic. And we went to paper. Not April Fool's Day now. I just don't see it. Why All right. Then, then, then he's got safe. And I'm going to say that aluminum foil is safe. And then he's got sticky. And I'm going to think that spam is sticky. What? I took a shower and now I'm going to put a little spit on me. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's just, can we just take a step back? We know it's not social media and it's not paper, okay? So is bubble wrap not brilliant and not majestic? Yes. Is spam not brilliant and not majestic? Yes. April Fool's Day, is it not brilliant? If someone pulls a good prank on you, it's brilliant. I, and remember, he struggled for that word. I do. I understand that. But, but struggle let's just, for every word. Let's just and say that it's roller coaster people told you that this was the correct way to go. No, no. That was their guess. And their track record was as good as mine right now. Okay. So, so let's just pretend it is bubble wrap. What would be safe from bubble wrap? A roller coaster is safe. No, it, no, no, no. If he, if he was actually putting in roller coaster, I bet he would be doing not safe. Oh, God. Do you know Frank rides roller coasters at least 10 to 20 times a year? Frank is a, uh, he's got an annual pass to Disney World for riding the roller coaster. All right, all right. So let me get this straight. You want to go bubble wrap roller coaster candy corn? Yeah, that's, that makes more sense to me than April Fool's. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, I, April Fool's aluminum foil, which is proven to be very safe. You can't burn yourself on it. Oh, really? Do and you ever use foil. aluminum foil in a microwave? How safe is that? Yeah, but you know, you're only an idiot. <laughs> only if you're a fool and That's not a different game. <laughs> you put aluminum foil in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Andy says, safe from alien brain waves. <laughs> All right, just hear me out. Okay, I know you don't like my bubble wrap, but what is, he loves banana splits. So it's, it can't be not brilliant and not majestic. He wouldn't call a banana split that. He, it's practically Nirvana for him. So, but it could be spam. And then what would be safe? Electricity is considered safe by many. And what would be sticky from electricity? Which direction would you be going in? I, I'm just, look at our options. Our options are banana split, April Fool's, spam, and bubble wrap, okay? Right. You obviously don't like the bubble wrap, and I, I will concede that it's not the greatest, although I can make an argument clearly for two of the three. Well, I could, I could see the argument for candy corn being sticky as probably the, the, the best clue that we have to go on. So if we're going to think that roller coaster um, is, uh, is safe, then that may be the way to go. But I'm just trying to take you the other routes. I, I can't get to aluminum foil as being safe. Okay. And I can't get to spam as being safe. 
No, no, spam is sticky. That's obvious. If we're, there are two things that could be sticky on this board, on the entire board, spam and candy corn. Really? Have you ever walked into a movie theater with air conditioned shoes? That could be a sticky situation. Uh, yeah, it's a real stretch. I'm sorry. You might as well talk about, you know, something as muddy. Why are they moving the word sticky away? What? You put the word sticky back. Oh, it's the wrong word. Sorry. Um, I just realized something. There was oh, you're cheating? Have we been arguing for five minutes over nothing? Yeah, I'm going to help you out. There you go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and this is in the rules, so you can do this? Well, no, uh, it's not because I just. This is the Frank the method error. of playing the game. It isn't even no. published yet. We've no. read oh, you read the map wrong. wrong. Thank God the game isn't out yet because I just discovered an error. There's an actual error on my map card. I see. Yeah. And I'm looking at it going, wait a minute. You would never have been able to get it. All right. So let's go back here. Let's assume that you're thinking that Brilliant and Majestic. Um, is uh, no, it's not brilliant and not majestic. Uh, not, yeah, that's what I meant. So, what were you, what were you looking for the there? Only you were one that wrap? makes sense to me is bubble wrap, and, and then, then roller coaster safe, and then social media would be destructive. Destructive. Yeah, I could see that. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Go ahead and touch bubble wrap. All right, bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's two Jack. turns we've wasted because you won't listen to me. I'm just pointing that out. Oh my yeah. god, you just agreed with me. Granted, I maintain that April Fools, spam, and electricity would have been the best path, but you didn't want to hear but about. You just keep that in mind for round five. <laughs> okay, but we didn't have the clue destructive. We had sticky. Well, and I changed it. That I'm sure that helped you. All right, let's do Dan. <laughs> it obviously helped us. We didn't get any further. So <laughs> mysterious for Dan. So Dan, you're saying that mysterious is so obvious among anteater George Washington. It's obvious. An anteater is mysterious for sure. Something mysterious, mysterious, mysterious about air conditioned shoes. All right. So wait a minute. He's got freezing in there. Frozen right, dinner. and that leads to frozen dinner. An ambitious Nikola Tesla. Yes. Okay. All right. Go for it. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Easy peasy. I could have put any any word in six if you looked at seven. Right. The only way to get there. Exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. Up, Dan. We're Go looking ahead. at greedy. Uh, where's Vinny? Vinny's yellow. He's on spam. Okay, and where did? Uh, okay, he's well, money. Over. Greedy is money. But okay, what's not professional? Social media. Social media. And not tender would be a roller coaster. Okay, I could go with that. I mean, a banana split is also not tender, but I think Vinny likes his what ice cream. A banana split is not tender. What is it, frozen solid? If we're being literal, yes. Oh my God. You can't, I can't get into the banana split. Let's speed this up a little bit. All right, money. money. Yes. Social media. Yes. And then roller coaster. Yes. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. Killing it. Yes, we are. Except for mine with my horrible words. <laughs> All right. You guys are in line for a silver trophy if you can complete yours. Wait, this is round four. Well, this is round four. We're in line for oh, gold trophy. You're right, yeah. yeah. You're We're going for the right. gold, baby. Round four. Fight. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. oh, I gotta look at my map. Where am I going? How is it possible to have the worst possible words? Oh my gosh. I cannot use this word. Uh, God, this is, I have the best words. This is the easiest game I've ever played of this. Yeah, I've meanwhile, had, I've got the most challenging. Part. I've always had the worst. I have given myself such a challenge with these. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I 
Okay, done. Wait a minute. We get to take these back out for Frank, right? Oh, no, we don't. We haven't removed Frank. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're right. Public wrap and paper. Oh, no, that, that's his, right? Everything that's his. Else, we got to leave those. There. Right, okay. Yep. I'm going to run out of my X's if I don't watch out. <laughs> By the way, audience, this is a six-player game that can play yes, it. it. does play up to six. Really interesting variants on it. We'll talk about it after we're finished with the game. Wow. If we have, if we if we can get there. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. All right. You done, Frank? No, I, I'm trying to fix myself here. So something's wrong here. That's in the wrong place. I'm going to help you out there. <laughs> there we go. Now it makes sense. All right. We're on Dan. I've right got now. one more word. Just a second. Oh, jeez. God, just so many words going up. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Now it makes sense. Okay. So we're on Dan Red. He's on Nikola Tesla right now. We gotta go with round and beautiful. Round and beautiful. Round. Candy corn is round. Bubble wrap, bubbles are round. Bubble wrap, I would have to say, is the only thing that would bring round to mind here. What's beautiful? Okay, after beautiful. I know he loves money, so. <laughs> I, yeah, that's a tough one. Paper could be beautiful. Hmm. Huh. Is there anything else on the board that screams beautiful? You know, an anteater could be a uh, round and a giraffe could be beautiful. You know, you two with your anteater and giraffe fixations. <laughs> First you want to eat them, then you want to look at them. I, don't know. I think we got to stick with bubble wrap as the round because it's, it's really the most round thing on there. I, I would go with bubble wrap. All right. Correct. All right. So now we just want to know what does he think is beautiful from all these? The only thing that looks beautiful from any of the, those six options, the five options, is money. What about roller coaster? Roller coaster could be really gorgeous. Okay, I, I would take that as well. Audience, help us out here. Roller That's coaster. Paper. I mean, what if it's a beautiful piece of elaborate paper? Yeah, I don't think he would have chosen beautiful for paper. I didn't think it was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the really audience is stumped as well. I, I think it's roller coaster. Let's go with roller coaster. All right, go for it. Oh, you he's doing that so I don't get the gold trophy. No, I'm not. I thought it was roller coaster. It's not roller coaster. Uh, God. If only. It's so obvious. Okay. Well, we're moving on to Vinny. We've got packaged. Packaged. Well, candy corn is packaged, but so is bubble wrap. It's packaging. Medi and then, not mediocre. Not mediocre. That's Nikola Tesla. I agree. Bubble wrap and Nikola Tesla. Bubble wrap? No. Oh, fail. Okay. No gold for either of you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I was trying, Vinny. I wanted you to get the gold. I honestly thought it was bubble wrap. I, really I did too. I looked at everything. I thought yeah. it was obvious. All right, oh, we're on Frank. You're on my elaborate one. All right, where are we on? You're on money? Money. All right, so it cannot be social media, bubble wrap, and paper. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with Vinny's. Are you reading all my clues? Don't forget, I have a third clue now. Not adventurous, not majestic, not brilliant. I don't know where to go for destructive and massive after April Fool's Day. Oh. Fascinating. So adventurous, not not adventurous, not brilliant, not majestic. At this point, I, I have no idea. I would say April Fool's Day. No. I, 
I, I'm really stumped with this one. Okay. So I could see if for a destructive and massive that's not roller coaster is electricity. And if you go to, and then if you go to safe and not slow, um, you would probably go to air conditioned shoes. Huh? That means that we're, we'd be going through spam since that's the only way to go. And it's <coughs> not adventurous, not brilliant, and not majestic. It doesn't make any sense. So I can see going spam, electricity, and safe and not slow. Safe and not slow. Air conditioned shoes keep you safe in the summer, and they're shoes, so they make you, they help you walk. I would go with that. You want All to right. do that? All right. Uh, I'm, for the record, audience, I'm deferring to Vinny's. Yeah, I get that. I would have chosen April Fool's Day as a, as a third wrong choice, but. Let's go ahead and choose spam. All right, spam. Spam is correct. I, I don't understand your words, Frank, but that's okay. It's all I had. All right, here's <laughs> electricity. I'll just uh, move that right over there. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. 100%. What the hell? <laughs> it's so obvious. <laughs> it's terracotta warrior. What you've done in this game is obvious, Frank. Oh, unbelievable. Well, I get my exes back. Yeah, it was Terracotta Warriors and hey, then electricity. We have one more round, dude. Well, electricity isn't slow. Oh, not slow. Right. Okay. No, got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is the last round. Yep. So Dan's placing one more card. I'm placing two more cards. Okay, let's see if I can get you where you need to go here. Doop. 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 Huh. Oh my god. Yeah, the only word I had for spam was sticky. And if I used sticky, you would have gone straight to banana slit. Right. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh, I can't use any of that. Okay, I'm ready. Um, I'm not. Just give me a minute. I want to make sure you guys get this. To me, it's so obvious, but. I'm going to put my eight up here. We have a tight space on this board. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. Finally. Finally, I have a word. I'm all set. You all set? Yeah, I think so. All right. All right, all we're right, starting with me this time. Vinny. Yeah. All right. So we so got. Wait a minute. Where are you, Vinny? You're at uh, roller coaster. Roller coaster. And we went to bubble wrap. Uh... So in this situation, I do want to point out to the audience that there's an X here, and my token here. So there literally is one choice right now. Oh yes, I guess we're going. I guess we'll go with candy corn. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even Yes, yes, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Cheerful, not cheerful, not mediocre. Oh, that's no. gotta be Nikola Tesla. Well, I don't know. It's always mean, grimacing. A lot of people don't like bubble wrap and they, they cry when they hear it. No, it's it's gotta be this. Have one. you ever been forced to eat a frozen dinner? Those are not cheerful. Especially before they're unfrozen. Oh my God, they're the worst. Not cheerful, not mediocre. So you're saying that it's excellent, is what you're he saying. He likes liverwurst. So I do like liverwurst and man. No way I'm going to buy that a frozen dinner is is not mediocre. I'm sorry. Uh uh. Well, he why is Tesla up. not cheerful? He was a funny. No, he wasn't. He was very dour, very serious. Frank knew him personally. I did. I did. Yeah. I, I, I'll go with that. I, I don't care. All right, is it Tesla? Yes, it is Tesla. Ta-da! We made it. Okay. 
Thank goodness. So Vinny, you get one of these. Yep. Right. All right. So you're on to me, and you're starting with six, which now has the added artistic. Wait, I have to find you. So we are at spam with you. Yep. So our path is pretty clear now, Dan. I would hope. So artistic, destructive, and massive is is going to be terracotta warriors. Safe, not slow, and helpful is electricity, and then icy air conditioned shoes. All right, I agree. Terracotta Electric. warriors. Terracotta warriors. Bing. Electricity. Bing. Air conditioned shoes. Bing. Yeah, oh, thank man. God I finally had a word icy. <laughs> we'll clean that up afterwards. Let's finish off, uh, Dan. All right, Dan is beautiful and civil. Now, where is he here? Beautiful and civil. Well, I don't I'm still confused by that. I mean, social media is the only thing I can think of there, What's but that's that civil. Awesome. Money, no, it's paper. Paper is civil and beautiful. What I went with the first time. I think it's money. I think it's paper. What does the audience say? Audience, we got. We need you one last time. Money. Come on, Andy. I know you're still there. Did you? Are you asleep? Andy says paper. All right, we're going. Paper and Nick left. Walter says gold is beautiful. So money and paper still gold isn't really money. So it depends on what area you're in. Avanel says both options are terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice. Oh wait, it could be candy corn. No, it's not candy corn. It really, really, it really is not candy corn. No. All right, no. GK Frost says money. Money, huh? I think that's, that's... I think the majority is going for All money. Right, we'll go with money. All is right. It money? Yes, it's money. All right. I was right in the first place like 15 turns ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he gets a silver. All right. And Frank, you're just. I'm done. I'm at eight. So yeah. So... Of 28, 29, 30. So we did all right. We did good. That's an oh, A. My. Audience, I hope you really liked that little demonstration. This is a great crowd game. I can't wait to play this with six people while we're at a convention and actually having a bunch of people around us arguing about this because this is a really, really interesting game for that. And it's got so much replayability. Frank, just tell us quickly uh, before we get out of here on, uh, about the options and the other ways to play besides cooperative. Okay, so we can play uh, individual where I'm literally guessing the person to my left and the person to my right is guessing mine. And I'm going to get the score that basically I achieve with both of these players. So my score is, is basically on left and right. Same for the next person and so on. That's the individual game. And you're just trying to get the highest score. Um, and then the team play, uh, I'll be a team uh, with one other person. And the other team and possibly a third team uh, are all basically racing against each other again to get the high score. Uh, there's also a, uh, a solo one where one person uh does uh a, a a one map card but he only has 20 clues for the entire thing so he has to get you through with 20 clues it's basically trying to see how how far can you get with the the most challenging set of cards um andy's asking what would be the score if we scored the way you just described that is basically we would have a score of 28 for our points for 10 plus 10 plus 8 you get the mm -hmm. score of how far you got so that was my last one this was dan's so as a group we got 28 points but because you have the silver tokens that adds a point each and then uh gold would have added two so anytime you get uh that kind of score you divide by the number of players in the co-op and your total uh is round down yeah yeah you round down but we get we managed to get to 10 and 10 is an a the only higher score is if you get to the uh, 11 or higher. All right. Terrific. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. Frank, what's next? We're going to get together next month, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll show you probably, uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you Witchstone by then. Um, but we've got several other games to, to work with too. Um, we have the plan coming out. We have bug off. We have uh, a couple other ones that are still, still in the works. So lots of stuff right. coming. All right. Thank you, Dan and Frank. Uh, everybody, thank you for being our audience. Hope you enjoyed playing along with us, and uh, we hope to see all of you real soon.